Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome to this week's English Qutbah and the topic is risk or provision. Alhamdulillah. All praises are due to Allah, the one who creates all, the one who provides and sustains all. And may he be praised with an abundant praise that reaches beyond the horizons of the heavens and the earth. And I bear witness that there is nothing worthy of worship except Allah with no partners in his worship. That he is the provider, the one who provides sustenance and provision to whom he wills. And I bear witness that our master and prophet Sayyidina Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is the servant of Allah and his messenger. And that he calls us to the embodiment of the most noble of character. O oh Allah, bestow your peace and blessings upon him and upon his family, his companions, and all of those who follow him in the best of ways until the last day. Amma ba'd, to continue. I advise you, O servants of Allah and myself, to observe the taqwa of Allah. For verily Allah is our Lord, and taqwa is the greatest means of sustenance for us. For Allah says, وَمَن يَتَّقِ اللَّهِ يَجْعَلْ لَهُ مَخْرَجًا وَيَرْزُقْهُ مِنْ حَيْثُ لَا يَحْتَسِبْ And whoever has taqwa of Allah, he will make for him a way out of every difficulty and will provide for him from whence he does not expect. Ayyuh al-Mu'minun, O believers, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala informs us about himself, saying, إِنَّ اللَّهَ هُوَ الرَّزَّاقُ ذُو الْقُوَّةِ الْمَتِينَ then deep that indeed it is Allah who is the provider, the firm possessor of strength. So the name of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned in this verse, Ar-Razzaq, is one of Allah's names that indicates his capacity to bestow sustenance and provision upon all his servants, to grant that to every, everything and everyone alike. And in this regards, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's provision comes to both believers and non-believers, to plants, to animals, and all beings within creation. For Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَمَا مِن دَابَّةٍ فِي الْأَرْضِ إِلَّا عَلَى اللَّهِ رِزْقُهَا That there is no creature on the earth except that upon Allah is its provision. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala out of his mercy and wisdom has given his sustenance for all of creation. And for this reason, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, خَلَقَ اللَّهُ كُلَّ نَفْسٍ وَكَتَبَ حَيَاتَهَا وَرِزْقَهَا That Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has created every single soul and he has ordained for it its provision. Indeed, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has ordained this provision in a way that distribution is mandated. Uh, for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran, نَحْنُ قَسَمْنَا بَيْنَهُمْ مَعِيشَتَهُمْ And we have apportioned amongst them their livelihoods. And so in this regards, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given us different forms of sustenance. And this is relevant to each and every one of us in a way that reflects the subtlety of his kindness. For Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Allahu latifun bi'ibadihi yarzuqu man yasha. That Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is subtle with his servants and he gives provision to whom he wills. And this entails, brothers and sisters, that if we start reflecting on our provision, on our sustenance, we'll find that there is a dimension of mercy within it. That Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given each and every one of us a provision that reflects reasons and wisdom in it, including what may appear at times the withholding of provision. For if a person was to come to know the reality of why they have been given provision the way they have been given, they would not choose anything anything other than what Allah has chosen for them. And indeed, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, when it appears that he is withholding his provision, then this too is out of his kindness and generosity. And so, whoever understands 
this deep wisdom and the reasons will find peace in their heart and tranquility in their soul. Uh, a wise sage once said, I know that no one is destined to my provision other than me and that no one can take it away from me. So my soul finds contentment in this. And so understanding the deeper wisdom behind our sustenance and provision helps enable us to demonstrate true reliance upon Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And it facilitates for us sincere effort in our work to find satisfaction in our endeavors and to not have the anxiety that often accompanies someone who doesn't have such trust in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Uh, and from this, uh, from this provision is that we come to see the favors of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. As Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, فَضَّلَ بَعْضَكُمْ عَلَى بَعْضٍ فِي الرِّزْقَ And Allah has indeed favored some of you upon others in provision. And so whilst Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has guaranteed for each and every one of us the portion of sustenance that is our destiny, which none can take away, part of that is we seek it and be diligent in seeking it and not disobey Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with regards to what he's given us. For the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, لا تموت نفس حتى تستوفي أقصى رزقها that no soul shall die until it has received its complete provision. وَإِنْ أَبْطَعَ anha, Even if it be slow or delayed in its appearance. فَيَا أَيُّهَا النَّاسِ تَقُوا اللَّهِ وَأَجْمِلُوا فِي الطَّلَبِ So, O oh people, have taqwa of Allah and be diligent in seeking your provision. وَلَا يَحْمِلَنَّ أَحَدُكُمْ إِسْتِبْطَاءُ رِسْقِهِ أَنْ, يخ... أن, ي... أن يَخْرُجَ إِلَى مَا حَرَّمَ اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ فَإِنَّهُ لَا يُدْرَكَ مَا عِنْدَ اللَّهِ إِلَّا بِطَاعَتِهِ And let the delay or the, the, the delay in the arrival of one's provision, let that not lead any one of you towards the disobedience of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. For indeed it is a person will not come to attain what is with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, except through their obedience towards his commands. And this is because often sometimes that which is from our provision may be attached or conditional on obedience to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And so part of this is also our ta'a and our submission to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and our deep belief and certainty in his providing for us. Once a man came, to one of the righteous or pious uh, successors. They asked the man because they, they were going through a dire financial situation. So they asked the wise man about this. And the wise man then responded by saying, would you be willing to trade the eyes by which you see for a hundred thousand dirhams? And the man replied, who was going through the financial situation, he said, no, never. So the wise man continued, well, would you be willing to trade the hands by which you grasp for a hundred thousand dirhams? And the man replied, no, never. The wise man continued to ask him about the blessings he took for granted, such as his hearing, his smelling, and whether he would be willing to trade them for money. And each time the man adamantly said no. So finally the wise man said, I see that in real terms of what you possess, in terms of blessings, you're a millionaire. And yet you're complaining about your provision. So brothers and sisters, so how many a time we have gifts upon gifts and we are negligent or uh, not cognizant of the blessings we have from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and not grateful for the blessings we have from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And so the knowledge that allows us to be cognizant of these blessings is itself a type of sustenance. And uh, hence we find some of the greatest of the Sahaba like Sayyidina Abdullah ibn Mas'ud, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala be pleased with him, saying, Inna Allah ta'ala qasama baynakum akhlaqakum kama qasama baynakum arzaqakum. That indeed Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has a portion between you, your character traits, just as he has a portion between you, your sustenance. From such forms of sustenance also, because sustenance, as we said, is not limited to wealth. Here we have character. From such forms of sustenance or provision is also goodly spouses, people who we can share a beautiful marital life with. As Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, 
والله جعل لكم من أنفسكم أزواجا وجعل لكم من أزواجكم بنين وحفدة ورزقكم من الطيبات And indeed Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has made for you from yourself spouses and has made for you from your spouses children, sons and grandchildren and has provided for you from that which is goodly or good things. Likewise, brothers and sisters, having intelligence and discernment, a security in a life of well-being, all of these things are from what we would call one's risk. So the Prophet ﷺ said, مَنْ أَصْبَحَ مِنْكُمْ آمِنًا فِي سِرْبِهِ مُعَافًا فِي جِسْمِهِ عِنْدَهُ طَعَامُ يَوْمِهِ فَكَأَنَّمَا حِيزَتْ لَهُ الدُّنْيَا that whosoever amongst you wakes up secure in his property, healthy in his body and having food for the day, it is as if he was given the entirety of the world. So we should remember Allah's favors upon us. As Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Ya ayyuhu nasu thkuru ni'mat Allahi alaykum. Hal min khaliqin ghayru Allahi yarzukukum min as-sama'i wal-ard. La ilaha illa hu. O oh, mankind, remember the favors of Allah upon you. Is there a creator other than Allah who provides for you from the heavens and the earth? There is nothing worthy of worship except Him. So we should remember the favors of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because when we remember and are cognizant of the favors of Allah, then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will give you more or give us more as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَإِذْ تَأَذَّنَ رَبُّكُمْ لَإِن شَكَرْتُمْ لَأَزِيدَنَّكُمْ and remember when your Lord proclaimed, if you are grateful, I will surely increase you in favor. So brothers and sisters, we should recognize the favors of Allah. We should seek that which is halal, tayyib, as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, كُلُوا مِن طَيِّبَاتِ مَا رَزَقْنَاكُمْ Eat and consume from the goodly things of what we have provided for you, for He is the best of providers and He has given us the best of sustenance. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make us from those who are grateful. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make us from those who have complete conviction in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's providing for us. I seek forgiveness from Allah for myself and for you. So seek his forgiveness for indeed he's the most forgiving and the most merciful. And with that comes to an end to this week's khutbah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. This khutbah was brought to you by Idha'atul Quran Abu Dhabi.